guess about four or five years ago, I was the artistic director of Moving Arts, and we actually lost our theater space. So I was trying to figure out ways that we could continue to produce theater, regardless of space, um, try to self-generate work, because I needed to keep our company continuing and thriving. So that was kind of the idea of how we started with the car play. This is a 1979 Oldsmobile Cutlass Salon. It has been in my family since 1979 when it was brand new. Uh, and it was my grandfather's retirement present. He was an Oldsmobile salesman. And I got the car in 1986. My dad drove it out here from Chicago and I've been driving it ever since. And I have the greatest mechanics. I think I, I looked that uh, we lose um, three or four days of our lives a year stuck in traffic. Uh, annually. Uh, we're the most congested city in the United States. Uh, now all these plays are about stories that happened in parked cars. So not necessarily sitting in traffic, but there are a lot of the stories they're about to leave where they're going and they talk about, well, which route should we take? Oh, don't take the, don't take Wilshire right now. That's a bad way to go. Oh, you know, take Fountain. That's a better way to go. So we, I think we all have these shortcuts of knowing the ins and outs of the city. And I do think traffic is a huge Oh my gosh, uh, my favorite thing about this car is that it is made of steel and that it doesn't have an airbag in it because airbags terrify me because they're full of dynamite and I'm always, if I'm driving a car with an airbag, I always think it's going to go off in my face. <laughs> my car to me is so meaningful that I dream about it all the time. My, my car to me is my independence, it's my freedom, it's my, it's my way of escape, it's, I, 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 I have a, Probably a too disturbingly uh, psychological attachment to my car. I, mean, I literally do have dreams all the time about something has happened to it. It is missing, or it is it has been disabled, or it has been stripped, or something like that. Or I I, I can't find it. And and I think after and, and I've been having these dreams for as long as I've owned this car. And and I know that it has to do with my car is my is my way of is my independence. For me, there's been so many moments of my life, small and large moments that I've had in a parked car. Um, my wife, my first kiss was in a car on our first date, uh, was inside that car. Um, large moments of uh, getting a traffic accident or trying to learn how to drive after a traumatic accident. Um, I think cars in this city can be fantasy, what we want to be or wish the car that we had. Growing up, I had a beat up junker and I was always judged on who I was because of the type of car that I drove. Um, I think we're so isolated in our cars because we're so indiv individualistic, so it's just one instead of carpooling. We're, and sometimes we can be isolated, we feel lonely. And sometimes it's um, there's some solace of being alone in our cars and trying to shut out the world. So I do think it, it's a little of says who we are and, and how we use our cars in the city. Yeah.